How's it going, everybody? Tumble Chef here, and today's video will be a punch front breakdown. For this skill, you want to have two things a really good punch and a really good forward roll. What we're going to start with today is ways to improve your punch. The drills that you see here are focused in on punching off the balls of your feet. This will allow the athlete to punch higher into their punch front. Please keep that in mind. Phase two is all about punching with straight legs. The simplest way to explain this is the more an athlete bends their knees upon making contact with a spring floor means the less the springs bend underneath them, which means the less power they generate. Phase three is all about engaging the glutes and the core when making contact in the ground while punching. This allows the power that you generate to go through your entire body, allowing you to create more power vertically into your punch front. I hope I didn't lose you there. Moving on to phase four, one of the most important things on the list is having a functional forward roll, pretty much meaning being able to transition smoothly in a tucked position with forward momentum. Understanding how to round the back out, hold the correct position, have your head tucked in the correct position, directly translates in how well one can rotate in their punch front. As I'm sure we all know that a punch front is a level three skill in cheerleading. If you ever have any hopes of doing level four or level five or even level six versions of this, meaning a step out, rotation is going to be the name of the game. Understanding how to effectively and efficiently rotate in your punch front is going to be directly affected by the way that you do your forward roll how well you understand it, and the shape that you do it in. So make sure that you take your time and truly understand, rather, master this skill. It will benefit you greatly in the long run. Please keep in mind that forward rolls and front tucks are very similar. The only difference is one takes place in the air. Phase five, footwork and punch timing. Understand that the punch front, meaning the punch portion, is very important so much so that it's in the name. You want to make sure you have this idea and concept down packed. Phase six, combining the punch and the roll. Having the ability to punch up and then roll out is essentially the deconstructed version of your punch front. Understanding how to go up and make your movements is going to be all a part of your transition from forward rolls into an actual punch front.